Hey guys, this is Ben Shark Sub LPs. I'm Sub, this is Europa Universalis 4, and this is episode 68 of our Big Blue Blob playthrough of the Millennia in the Making game. We are the eponymous Big Blue Blob, France, and we're not at war. We do have a lot of stuff to spend though, so let's first of all have a quick look at this. We could get religious traditions here. We could also get the Glorious Monument here. Now, they would do almost exactly the same thing. The Glorious Monument will be cheaper, but this one will lead us towards the Inquisition and better culture cost stuff, so let's do that. Done and done. Uh, we could also invest in better military technology, which we are definitely going to do. Done. So that's given us a new unit of um, upgrading from the leather cannon to the swivel cannon that upgrades morale damage and offensive damage. Done and done. We have the ability, because we just took a fuck ton of land off Mauritania, to hire a new leader. I'm not going to. I know it seems a little weird, but I'm not going to for a reason. I'm going to actually get this guy, give them him. I need to talk to Sokoto. Yep, because I'm going to protectorate them. Done. So now they research stuff a little bit faster and we get half of what they earn. And I'm also going to try and move him into there so we can discover Cannibor Nu, so we can do a similar thing. We have lost a lot of money just now. Probably because we built a fleet. Mauritania just jumped into the coalition. So that's interesting, because just before, just before I started this episode, I was like, you know, we haven't had a coalition war in a long time, we should do something about that. And I was going to start fabricating claims over there. So first thing I need to do is, if we're at 153 up here in Volga, Bulgaria, we could get another two points out of them by removing the declared war stuff. The claims, when will they go away? 42, soon. Okay, so that'll be another five points. Um. The Cassus Belli. Is that their claims on me or my claims on them? Could be either way. They have a decent number of claims on us because they do have cores on a bunch of our provinces. And those cores aren't going to go away for like 30 fucking years or so. We might just be best off attacking the little bastards. Alright, so what I'll do is the next war that we're in, I'll call them in, and they won't join in, so it'll break our alliance, I'll retract the guarantee on their independence, and then we can hit them. Nice and easy. And that means I can pull the... Um, Relationship improving guy out. I've got a claim fabricating there. I've got some nationalists there. That's fine. I'm going to get rid of him. Hang on. Why can't I get rid of him? Balls. That's right. I need to fabricate some claims in Delhi. Let's start with Agra. They're going to find me. I know they're going to find me, but whatever. And the Fagot Brigade some claims there. Where else is in the coalition? Kanata are in it. That's fine, I could use getting rid of Kanata. That'd be good for him. So when we get a merchant, or a, um, hang on, why the fuck did you do that? Oh, because we protectorated them. You can't have an alliance with a protectorate. We 
also enemies of Cannon Bornu. I'm going to give him some subsidies. No, I'm not, because I can't afford them. I'm going to cancel the subsidies out of Volga Bulgaria, though. And I'm going to cancel the military access that I have with them. And in another month or two, we should be able to... Jesus, we get a lot of admin power. We should be able to get the next idea in religious ideas. And that will allow us to start making a lot of culture conversions. Ah, there we go. Now we can see Cannonball No, so this guy can come all the way back. And we can actually ditch him out of there. And we can talk to these guys. They like us, of course. And would most likely accept being a protectorate. Now, protectorates, I don't know if they count. I've got to be honest, I do not know if they count properly to your, um, thing. They might. Actually, no, they don't. It'd be the royal marriage that we have with them that counts. So we've got the Pope as a vassal, royal marriage of Sakatu, Bulgaria, and Turkestan. Yep, yeah, so now we've got these two places, and very importantly, if Mauritania attacks Sakato, we will be drawn in. And that's honestly what I would want. Okay, I think we're ready for war with Brunei. There's my proper fleet. There it is. Bring them down. Just a quick war with them, of course. A new Pope, that's fine. Ah, there we go. New Admin Inquisition done. And that's given us the culture conversion cost. And what we're also going to do... Add policy... Where is it? That one, Cultural Unity. Okay, one diplomatic power each month, and it'll take 10 years. So now diplomatic power is definitely a low point for us. That's fine. I don't mind that. And what we're going to do is come to Culture, and look how cheap all this shit is. Yes! Spend all of that power. This will help our bottom line so much when we get it all done. We we're getting like a 40% discount on that stuff. How amazing is that? I mean, there's still tons of it to go. I mean, you know, some of that's ridiculous, but that'll help out a lot. Okay. Brunei, my good friends. Okay, you're Brunei. Let's just get him Brunei, Kutai, and Sabah, and you've also got Sulu up there. Right. Well, it's a holy war. Get into it. And what we're going to do here is call Volga Bulgaria in. Be like, hey, come on in, bros. They're going to refuse. And that's fine. 
because now we dislike them. And we're also going to have to remove that guarantee. Which will happen when we finally have a diplomat to send. Okay, we've just gotten a holy cast of Holy War cast a spell against these guys because our colonists finally arrived. Good, good, good. Battle of Brunei, nice and successful. And now we have a diplomat. Revoke the guarantee. Now when we get our dudes back, we can declare war on them. Better just move our guys up here just to be ready for it. Give them a nice leader just to make those sieges easy. Ah, the Ivory Coast has been converted. So now we're just waiting on Yatenga to finish getting cored. Which will be a little while, and that does actually remind me of something. Add all those places to the trade, guys. Here as well, apparently. Whoops. I don't think there's any trade dudes around here. Just gotta make sure that we do add these. On that war with Mauritania that we had last episode, because we destroyed their trade fleet, that gave us such a massive up in that area. It was good for us. It was very good for us. Alright. Come on, just get into position. <coughs> That's what she said. Oh. We achieved religious unity. Okay, so now we can conquer Agra, establish bases in North America, or form an alliance with Kanata. I don't think we can form an alliance with Kanata. I'm pretty sure they hate us. Yes, they do. There's not much I can deal with against that because they're in the coalition. So what were my other options? Conquer Agra, which is part of Delhi, and establish bases in North America. Northeastern America. You know what, we're going to try and take that one and just see what happens. Because I swear we have something in northeastern America. Oh, it might say that we don't. Yeah, I see what it's done. Ooh, that's fancy. Okay, so, this stuff here, Mexico, the, um... Antilles and all that sort of stuff. That's not North Eastern America. North Eastern America is this shit up here. Specifically, Narragansett. So, I guess I know where our colonists are going next. That one in there. Mm. It's kind of important. And we've got one down here who I don't really care too much about. We'll call him. Yeah, I don't care. And... Establish. So we should get that one complete shortly. Now, where were we? And Volga Bulgaria. We got a truce and a royal marriage. Really? 14 years? That's fucking retarded. Well, once that, once that overextension goes away, we can probably wear that. Yeah. So we'll just wait. Ah, oh, good. They finally expelled that agent that I couldn't send out myself. Which means that we've got some fabrication to do. Fuck 
fucking truces. What are my actual claims up there anyway? Yeah, I don't have claims on everything, so let's put in a claim on Yeek as well. Though, I mean, it doesn't really matter because we're going to be vassalizing them, not taking them. But it's still kind of important. Okay, Sean, fabricate. Thank you. Um, Cambodian nationalists. In Sam Rip. That's one that's under attack. Let's ignore that for a moment. Can't fabricate there, can't fabricate there. Let's fabricate down here. A whole lot of fabrication. What happens if it's just a random Kanata noble? Okay, that's fine. No need to do anything there. Oh! They have a province that just converted to Protestantism out of nowhere. Let's grab it back. Now that's why we have the, um, the massive bonuses against heretics, so that when places like that just change, we can snag them back immediately. It's important. Ah, oh, yeah, look at that. Because our religious tradition is at maximum, our prestige is topped out. Beautiful. Those boats are coming along. Culture conversions. Gotta keep that dude. Core constructions as well, and my colonists. Yeah, they're doing alright. I mean, they're why we're losing money, but you know. They'll do fine. Yes, yeah, so we're going to go to war tomorrow with Mauritania before we even get to consider going to war with Volga Bulgaria again. That's irritating. But, you know, kind of our fault, I guess. And I guess for more... Ooh! Speaking of the military coalition, Ming has just left it. I mean... I don't care. Because Ming is shit. But, you know, it's a good touch. It's a good touch, and I think the Oirats look like they would be leaving it shortly as well. Yeah, Volga Bulgaria founders. No big deal. Mauritania probably won't leave it anytime soon, because, well, we gave them a lot of... Well, they have a huge problem with us right now. Ugh, oh, what is that bullshit? Deal of it. There's our conversions. Which means your Tanga can come along. And our little battle down here is over. Means we can take the leader out. And that means we should have zero overextension, which means that our admin power boosts will be nice. I am going to be good though and not attack Volga Bulgaria until we our truce runs out of them. I promise. No, no, I'm going to I'm going to promise that. I promised it. We're attacking other places in the meantime. Uh, 
good. Claims are coming in. And the good news there is that now if we do a coalition war and go to war with Mauritania again, um, it'll be double hit. Which means I should start fabricating over in Mauritania as well. Oh, there's just so much stuff to do. Okay, that's a guy home from Delhi, so... Let's do him on a country-by-country country basis. So we're going to have a guy coming back from there. We've got to be efficient about this. And the guy coming back from Volga, Bulgaria. I don't think that there's anything left for us in Volga, Bulgaria. So I'm going to put him over here because there's a lot of shit to do over here. Now, what do we want? I'd like him to knock him out of the Seville trade node. I think that would be very appropriate. But those that stuff is all very expensive. So I'm going to start peeling them back from down here instead. So my first one is going to be on Zazao. I think that'd be good because then we can get claims on Zazao. Gomo, Gao, Timbuktu and Azawad. That'll be expensive because Timbuktu is a big place. As is as is Gao, but I think that'll work out for us. And we'll probably put a... We do have a claim on um, the Canaries, so that doesn't matter. And some of those ones up there anyway, so it shouldn't take as long to get the claims we want from them. Shan has nothing left to fabricate on. Couple of culture conversions. See how they're not even moving to attackers, folk. They're just sort of staying there. It's a little odd. Ah, there's the siege of Brunei done. So I'm going to put my guys into Kunai. Send these dudes up to blockade it. See if they're going to do anything about that. Oirat left for coalition. Very good. Where was this guy coming back from? Was there one in Lenzang? No, no, Lenzang like us. Diviet, perhaps? I mean, they are in the coalition. Might as well. So, they also own this bit of land over there. Let's just do a quick check, which we can't do. God damn it. We have to wait till one of these guys finishes the fabrication. It's going to check whether we'd be able to uh, fully annex them this time or not. Ah, very good. So now we're just waiting on that one, which is going to take a little bit of time. Stupid religious migration. Yeah, 1655 will be able to take that. 25%, that's ridiculous. That's basically saying you can't do it. Go away, sort of thing. <clears throat> Skip past all this navy stuff. Ah, oh, royal marriage offer for Canon Bornu. Yeah, I mean, it increases our diplomatic relations, but it's no issue. Because we're only looking at getting one more diplomatic relation, which is going to be the vassalization of... Um, well, two, really. The vassalization of Volga Bulgaria and the eventual personal union with Turkestan. Which I am in no way prepared for. Turkestan does have a pretty decent army, or should have. 36,000, that's less than... Oh, jeez. Well, look forward to it. How are our guys doing here? Is that all of them built? No. 
still a couple of years left in there. And we're going to leave the colonists doing what they're doing because we're kind of losing a little bit of money due to them. There we go. Now we wait for our war and fabrications. Oof, Desh just converted to reformed. That's alright, we'll send our dudes over there. Only takes just over a year while we purge. Ah, good, we established bases in North America. So that was exactly what we had to do. Um, form an alliance with Volga Bulgaria, if that won't happen, conquer Agra, or achieve religious unity. You can see sort of what we're doing here with the religious unity thing. If we keep losing a province and then regaining it, we're going to be able to farm that. And it's a good reward, 10 prestige and 25 admin and diplo power. It's good. I mean, by no means am I, you know, trying to game the goddamned system there. Speaking of gaming the system, I'm going to take that admin power. So we'll be able to get the absolute monarchy at the next level. I think we already have that. Yeah, we do. Because of our uh, Tetsis Moy. Which is good. I mean, you know. And we're getting a lot of admin power, so if it keeps going up, we'll be able to build more buildings around the place. Just to, you know, keep it down. Speaking of... Gotta keep on remembering to get our dudes building in um, Munich. Just to help out a little bit with this inflation bullshit. Because that's annoying. Actually, speaking of, got a production efficiency bloke. Is there... No, there's a yearly prestige bloke. There's no inflation reducer. Lame. Ah, we've got a guy coming back from Delhi. Which means that we're about to see a whole lot of cycling. Now, I did want to... Ah, oh, a guy coming back from Viscalis. We're going to send this guy back straight away, but with one of the other diplomats, we're going to check on our uh, peace deals. Okay, so that was Zezel. Can we get Zemfera? We cannot, but we can get Gurma. There we go, we achieved religious unity. Sort of. Okay, form alliance of Volga Bulgaria, conquer Gao or conquer Agra. Gao is something that will happen, so we'll go with that. Good, and then up to that one. And probably gonna just put these guys up there for the moment. Um, ah, that guy came back from like, ah, no, we were going to check here. I remember things. Full annexation is gonna cost us too much. So, we'll take Kute, Savar, and Sulu. We won't be able to take Brunei off them, but we can, you know, fuck them up a bit. We can't take Brunei off them because it's the capital. That'll have to wait. Last fabricate in Delhi. Then I think we're going to have one more in Kanada. You. And now we wait yet again. We're about to have the guy in Ayatollah stop, as well as Diviet, which is great. Got another one to fabricate in Diviet, I think. We do, good. Nothing left in Ayatollah. Brunei would like to peace off off, they will not. Yeah, it's fine. 
Just going to wait for these diplomats to come back so that I can assign them out again. And then we'll end the episode on that note. Okay, that one to there. No problem. Who else is in the coalition? Zhao. I mean, we might as well. There's no harm in it. But there are a lot of provinces that we can claim in Zhao. I mean, there's a lot. We might as well, but, you know. Well, four is a lot. Come on. Um, ah, what are we doing? Well, we can't grab by uh, Yunnan. Just let's have a look at the trade maps. All of them are in Canton. The coastal provinces would probably be better. So let's try Xiangmen. That's a high chance of being found, 6%. But on that note, we will call it an end to this particular episode. So, uh, you know, questions, comments, you, you, you guys know the deal. In the meantime, though, I've been Sub, you've been yourselves. Later.